Okay guys, in my last video I showed you how to set up an OSPF neighbor adjacency. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do what I like to call OSPF over layer 2. Now if you remember, on our top switch we used uh, fast ethernet 19 and we connected over to our bottom switch on interface gig 10. Uh, we set up a slash 30 and we had a neighborship going. And there it is. So what we want to do this time is I'm actually going to create interface VLAN 42 on both switches. I'm going to move the slash 30 IP addresses in into those uh, VLAN interfaces. And then I'm going to make 10 and 19 a dot one Q trunk. And we're going to see what happens. All right. Let's get started. So as you can see, there is no interface VLAN 42, so let's create that. And there it is. So hopefully you guys have had some experience with that, but if not, pretty simple. Uh, you just create it like that. Let's take a look at the configs on gig 10 here. It looks like we have our 192.168.0.1. So what I want to do here is make this gig 10 a dot one q trunk switch port switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk and then let's verify and make sure everything looks correct do show run interface gig 10 and it looks like we do have a, a dot one q trunk and then let's go into that interface VLAN 42 that we made. And let's paste our configs that we were using on 10. Let's say no shut. Okay, so now our configs are on VLAN 42. Gig 10 is now a dot one Q trunk. So let's jump over to the other switch. So on this one, you can see VLAN 42 has not been created. Um, and VLAN or Fast Ethernet 19 can still have that IP address on there. And there it is. So let's make this a trunk. Interface Fast Ethernet 19. Switch port. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Switch port mode trunk. Let's verify that. There it is. Let's create our interface VLAN 42. Let's paste our configs in here. Let's no shut. Show interface description. Here we go. VLAN 42 is in here. Fast Ethernet 19 is now a trunk. Now, if you notice, VLAN 42 says down, down. Now, there's a reason why it's not working. Let's do a show VLAN command on this switch. Uh, what number looks to be missing there? VLAN 42. So when you create that switch virtual interface, it never created it in the VLAN database. So let's do that. Okay. Here it is. 
And then we'll have to do that on the other switch. Show VLAN. Okay, it's not in there, so let's create it. Do show VLAN. Okay, there's 42. Now there's one other thing that is stopping this from working. If you remember from the last video, we did the no passive uh, on gig 10 in order to get the neighborship up. So if you look at this side here, it just has the, here we go, sorry, the passive interface default command. And if you remember, I said that stops hollows from being, from being sent out on an interface unless you specifically enter the no passive interface command. So previously this, this would have said uh, no passive interface gig 10, right? But when we made gig 10 a trunk, it automatically erased that out of here. But what we do need to do is make interface VLAN 42 no passive in order for the hellos to come out and then we'll see our neighborship form. So let's just verify that. Nothing, right? No neighbors. So watch this. Router OSPF1, no passive interface, and I'm just gonna say VLAN 42. All right, there it is. So now we have an OSPF adjacency. State is full. It's on interface VLAN 42.